hey, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is what we got going on for November 15, 2021. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can do that at tarotbarbie.com. Thank you for everybody who joined me for my celebration, Virgos. I appreciate it. I'm sorry for the energy that ended up coming out. However, though, thank you for coming through for this for, for part two, all right? Let's get a Virgo's coming with the Six of Cups, the Death card, and the Judgment card here. Somebody's absolutely being judged at the moment for what they've caused you. You guys have been going through battle after battle after battle. It's not have it has not been easy for you guys, Virgos. You guys have been going through a whole lot of shit here. And spirit and angels and God is not having it. They're upset. They're pissed off about it. You guys have been wounding hurt hurting somebody here much more than you should have ever hurt hurt them. Now the boomerang effect is gonna be coming in. Anything you do to this person, it's literally going to come back for you. Boomerang effect here, right? If you guys got somebody here from your past who you guys don't want nothing to do with them anymore, this person created a lot of illusion they drink a lot they party a lot they smoke a lot they do whatever else kind of drugs this person always is with a lot of people here it could have been somebody from your past maybe even a scorpio you're going to be leaving this person out in the cold virgos because every time they try and attempt to come back towards you they end up screwing themselves over for that you're leaving them out in the cold somebody here may also be going through a little bit of poverty as well or the fact that these people are going to end up literally going going through poverty themselves because god does not like what this what these people have been doing to you they don't like that they've been wounding somebody and hurting somebody here who is of the divine so for that you guys are set for battle at the end of the day here virgos but in this case what it's saying here that whoever these people are for you who tried to bring destructive energy into your life with the death card and always attempt to steal from you they look like they're going to end up screwing themselves with the five of pentacles they're going to end up in poverty struggling maybe even homeless for that matter they screw themselves over with the hangman you guys are connected to the divine. You guys have prophecy. Somebody here keeps messing with a prophet child here. And because that continues to happen, you guys are going to end up screwing yourselves over. You guys literally gave yourself the rope. No lie. You literally did that to yourselves. And and the reason why it's coming back for you guys is because that's the boomerang effect. What you put out into the world always finds its way back to you. You reap what you sow. You want to hurt people? It's coming back to you. You want to be good to people? It will always come back to me. Come back to you. You want to do you want to you want to do uh the the the, the karma during Saturn energy? It's going to come back for you at every single time. I just saw literally 888 Virgos. Karma is officially here for a lot of you guys. And when you you guys are going to feel it when the karma is here. You guys are not going to be able to run away with it from it. It's not going to happen. You guys hurt somebody who is prophecy. You hurt somebody who's a prophet. You hurt somebody who has the connection to the divine, who sends out messages, who helps out the collective. You guys, somebody here hurt somebody in a really bad way. For that, you screw yourself over. Now you're stuck. Now you're all wrapped up in the shit that you put out into the world. And you're going to left out in poverty. You're not going to have any clothes, money, or whatever the case is. You screwed yourself. God is literally judging you at the moment. And that is absolutely terrible for you. Uh, Nine of Wands, you've been hurting people. That sh that that is <laughs> somebody here hurt somebody that God keeps very very close to and and loves very very much and you know Virgos you guys are gonna continue to have the strength God is always always gonna give you the strength back no matter what you guys have invested a whole lot in your harvest so do expect now Virgos during November and and, and December your harvest is gonna be coming in people are going to be so crazy on you okay so people are gonna start watching you. Maybe even kissing your ass for that matter because they're starting to see that you're being, that your heart is literally coming to fruition here as well. You guys have a Virgo here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a Pisces, a Leo, who you guys may have ended up getting to a little bit of an argument with. You guys ended up spilling the cups on this person. Fuck it. Fuck all five cups. You know what? I'm going to kick, I'm a, I'm gonna kick these three cups down, right? And there's a Virgo here who is literally going into isolation to trying to figure out like what had happened. What happened is that you played a high priestess here and you thought that you were going to be able to get away with it, but you can't and no, you, nor will you ever be able to get away with it. You brought deceptive energy to a high priestess energy, a light worker, an earth angel, somebody who's a high priestess. It is a privilege to be in the energy of a high priestess. It's a privilege. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's a privilege. <laughs> There's not many high priestesses out here. There's not. Somebody here who is, who's capable of knowing it all. <laughs> knowing it all it's a privilege to be around somebody like this a lot of people here and love to underestimate people so this high priestess knows about this taurus virgo capricorn and they know exactly what it is that they were trying to do but because this high priestess here you know they're they're not saying anything they're mysterious they don't say nothing but they know that this 
Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn brought deceptive energy into their life when they were not doing nothing to hurt this person, but they brought deceptive energy into their life. Nine of Swords. Now they're stressed out. You stressed out a high priestess. I wouldn't be happy about it either. I wouldn't be happy. I would, of course, be the the sun card in reverse. I'd be pissed off, actually. All right? So that's why this Queen of Swords kicked a few cups down. You want to you come and you want to continue to attack people? You want to hurt people? You want to play with that shit? Well, now the Queen of Pentacles is here. The High Priestess, the Nine of Swords, the Sun card. There's a High Priestess here who's not happy at all. They're pissed off, but they're going to continue to be resilient, humble. They're going to continue to focus on themselves. They're not going to worry about whatever the hell this, this Five of Cups is. They're not worrying about it anymore. They're not. It's done and over with because this high priestess here already knows that everything's going to work out for them. And as a matter of fact, it will always work out for them for the, with the queen of pentacles there. How dare you bring stress into a high priestess's life? A light worker, an earth angel. Who the hell do you think you are at the end of the day? You guys are the divine feminine to the divine masculine here. You guys may also have somebody... Who might be trying to come in and sabotage you guys' connection. Also, Virgos, you guys are standing in your power. Some of you guys may be married, happy, celebrating as well. A lot of you guys have gone through the portal of 1111, all right? You guys may have also felt the energy, which didn't make you guys feel all that great as, uh, at the same time. Uh, regardless, though, you guys do have might have somebody here, a karmic, who might be trying to come in into the connection between the two of you guys and trying to disturb it. Also, Virgos, if the karmic does come into this connection, he's saying that you guys may literally, your your man or your girl will literally walk away if this if this karmic comes in and shows their face to you. They're not going to be happy about it. Also, Virgos, somebody here was giving to somebody else. They chose to be a player here. Um, also, Virgo, somebody here might be taking a flight and paying to go and, and travel or whatever. It's saying that that's not a good idea. It's actually a very foolish act. Like, why are you going to go get... What's the reason that you're getting a plane ticket and leaving? Or trying to get a bunch of gas and then leave? What are you running away from at the end of the day? You know what I mean? Uh, at the end of the day here, Virgo, somebody might be trying to leave a divine mask and divine, divine feminine connection because of a karmic. If you guys love your, your relationship very much, nobody in this world can ruin that for you except for you. At the bottom of the deck, I got the Ace of Swords. You guys got the clarity that you need, all right? You guys are going to be resting and retreating at this point here, Virgos. Somebody here who you may have not been talking to for a while may actually end up reaching out towards you. Whatever this person has to say to you, they're not going to be telling you guys the whole entire truth either. Ace of Swords to the Moon card. They're not going to tell you the whole truth, Virgos. No, they're not. No, they're not. They're only going to tell you what it is that you want to hear. But you guys are going to be chilling and resting at the end of the day. You, this person is going to be receiving their karma. They're going to be filled with snakes, Virgos. All their friends are going to become snakes. Look at this, the five of wands. A lot of people are going to be struggling here a whole lot too. Also, Virgo, I'm picking up, and it's not even in this deck, but I'm picking it up that a lot of people who were in competition with you, all those people that were in competition with you, you're not in competition with them. The only person that you're in competition with is yourself. But the same people that were in competition with you are all going to be struggling and fighting within themselves. So all these five people, you're not here. You're, you're not here, Virgos. You're, you're gone. You're the Nine of Pentacles, okay? But it's saying here in this, the, peop, the same people that were battling you and competing with you, all, those pe so the, all these people here, they're all friends with each other, okay? And then you would be on the side somewhere else doing your thing. The same people who were all friends with each other competing with you are all going to be hating each other, fighting with each other, and battling themselves. <laughs> That's karma. That's karma. This is deceptive enemies. This is deceptive enemies, uh, and, and genuinely, it's only going to be all seen. This may actually be literally right in front of you guys' face. You guys are going to be seeing it. And then they're all going to be stressed out and trapped in the head. It could also be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who might be even blocked. Somebody here might actually be blocked intuitively at the moment. Coming with the Eight of Swords, Queen of Cups, and the Two of, so Two of Swords. It's going to be coming in during the New Moon Energy. You see what happens? When you put bad out into the world and you want to become an enemy and hurt people and harm people, then you end up getting spiritually blocked. With the Two of Swords to the Queen of Cups to the Eight of Swords, you're going to torment yourself so damn badly. You should have been a better person. Five of Wands. Who are you competing with? On a, I know, Virgos, I, 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 I defend you guys in there, but on a real note, you know what I mean? Like, who are, why are people competing with you guys? What's the reason? 
<laughs> I don't understand. Why doesn't everybody just stay in their own lane? And why don't they go focus on their own success instead of battling and throwing hate onto other people? Why are you such a hateful person that you can't let people do their thing? And now you can't even access your intuition. You're blocked during the new moon energy that's going to be coming in. Two of, two of Swords, Queen of Cups, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, Pisces energy, Eight of Swords. You screwed yourself. You're blocked. Is you're blocked. Not only are you blocked, you're blocked from all your financial stability here with the Four of Pentacles. You're also blocked from accessing your gifts. Uh, Four of Cups. Nope, it's not gonna happen. You're not gonna have anything good coming towards you now. All the all the all the things that are gonna be coming towards you, they're all gonna like not taste all that great. That's the Four of Cups. You're gonna be vexed. You're gonna have apathy in your heart because the group of people that you was chilling with with the Three of Pentacles. They were not good for you at the end of the day. They encourage you to do bad things. You guys have the right away, Virgos. Continue to be the spiritual person that you guys are. Angels and angels <clears throat> are coming in to help you guys out here. You guys have a lot of blessings coming with the Ace of Cups energy. Things are going to start picking up a lot more faster. Look at that. Things are going to start picking up a lot more faster here for you guys. Okay, Virgos? And it's coming in for you with the Three of Wands. Your treasures are literally here. Your treasures are literally here, Virgos. They're coming in for you guys, okay? So... Don't worry about these people who are hurting you, harming you, enemies competing with you, workplace bullshit. It, don't worry about it. You continue to move on with your life. They're going to have a lot of hasty energy coming in. They're not going to be happy about it. They're going to be blocked financially. They're going to be blocked on an intuition type of level. It's not happening. New moon energy is going to be coming in December. That energy specifically is going to be coming in for the new moon of December, Virgos. December 6th, all the way up until like December 12th. From there, that's it. Coming into the year 2022, a lot of people are not going to have their gifts anymore. They're not, it's not going to happen. Four of Pentacles, Four of Cups. They're going to be hateful. They're going to be vexed. They're going to be angry. All because the people that they hung out with, they shouldn't have been with them. You guys have the right of way. Spiritual help is coming in towards you with the temperance of the Page of Cups energy. They're coming to support you. All you need to do with Virgos is make sure you guys cross that next path of yours because you have a lot of blessings, prosperity, abundance. Uh, your manifestations are coming into fruition. You guys manifested it. It's coming in fast. Eight of Wands. Do expect it in the next and do expect it in the next eight days to the Ace of Pentacles here as well, okay? Lots of financial stability. It's it's right there. Just make sure that you guys continue to stay focused, Virgos, and do not allow negative energies with the Devil card to the to the Cherry card. Everybody here who is trying to hurt you and harm you, who are all being selfish and vindictive on towards you, Virgos, it's saying that they're going to receive their vengeance anyway. You guys are going to be completing a complete cycle coming in with the World card. Your money's coming in for you guys. Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. That's it. That's it. Your completion is here. I told you guys. Nine. Okay. You, nine, 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 nine. Someone says, oh, doesn't nine mean something? Girl, I don't care what you have to say at the end of the day. I know my readings are very well, and I'm very confident with how I read, and I know exactly what it is that I'm reading. Completion is fucking here now. Completion is here. Ten. Nine. World card. It's done. Your enemies, all these low vibrational people are going to receive their vengeance, Virgos, for trying to stop your growth, trying to stop your success, trying to stop you from shining, stop trying to stop you from being who you are meant to genuinely be. World card, your, your success is coming towards you. Ten of Pentacles, you're going to be financially stable, financially successful. Nine of Pentacles, you're going to be so damn comfortable, Virgos. Everything that you ever wanted is going to be coming in fast for you and people are not going to like it. Knight of Swords. You guys, it's time for you guys to start being brave, okay? Knight of Swords, it's, start, it's time for you guys to be brave, Virgos, because justice is going to be coming in for anybody who tried to hurt you and harm you. You're going to have a lot of enemies trying to trying to attack you still. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. You can't get got. And even if you do get got, they still can't get you. They can't because it's the boomerang effect at the end of the day. Two of Pentacles. <laughs> Spirit's not having it. They're blocking a lot of people's intuitions for what for doing what they've done for for what they've done to you. That's not how you work with spirituality. That's not how you work with spiritual. You don't attack people because you're not winning at life. You don't who who are you to attack anybody at the end of the day. If you're a spiritual person and you're giving spiritual guidance, whatever collective, whatever you want to call it, help people. Why are you attacking people for? Why don't you go get therapy? And find out what your inner issues are so you can heal them and learn to help yourself so you can grow. Damn. All right, beautifuls. It's saying here, 
<laughs> People are going to still attack you no matter what here, Brookers, but it's saying that it doesn't matter because you guys are going to be successful. You're going to be recognized, and you guys are going to become a star, the star card. You are literally going to become a star, Virgos. You guys have done the healing that you guys needed. You guys are going to continue to heal and take care of yourselves. The universe is going to come and bring justice into the situation, and they're going to bless you and bless you and bless you. Do expect all this to come in between December and and January. <laughs> you guys might start realizing it's going to be coming in for you guys between November, December, and January. Uh, Aquarius season. It's, you're going to see a lot of blessings start coming towards you guys, Virgo, because you guys have been staying so hopeful. After all the shit that you guys have been through with the tennis stars, all the betrayal, all the backstab, all the hurt, you being left on your face, that nobody's able to come and save you. Nobody can help you because this is your journey at the end of the day. How are people supposed to help you when this is your, when this is your journey? They can't. You're going to have no choice but to get up every single time and do what you need to do at the end of the day. That's your job. That's your business. You need to take care of it. And that's exactly what you guys did. And for that, justice is here. Karma, good karma is coming for you. They're all going to receive some crazy-ass karma, Virgos. And that is none of your business. You guys are going to continue to move. You can't be touched. Seven of Wands, Six of Wands. It's not happening. You're at a higher, you're at a higher altar at this point. And people really try th to think that they can steal your success from you with the star card to the Six of Wands. People want what you have. They do. They, they, it's like almost as if they want to be you in some sort of way. But just remember, Virgos, there's only one you. You will never be replaced. There's only one Virgo. Understand? Ace of Wands, Virgos, blessings are coming towards you here. You guys got powerful angels who are going to be working on your side here. Knight of Pentacles, you guys have service that you need to bring into the universe. So for that, you guys are going to continue to work. Eight of Pentacles, the Fool card, you guys are going to continue to work, Virgos, no matter what. You're going to continue to be a spiritual loving person that you guys are. You guys got a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Aries who's going to be coming towards you. Somebody here may also should be showing up at your workplace. Ten of Cups, <laughs> you guys got beautiful energy, Virgos. All right, Ten of Cups, you guys are going to be absolutely... All your wishes are going to be coming to fulfillment. You're going to be emotionally satisfied. You guys have did the work. You, you guys have done the work. Excuse me. You guys have manifested this. You guys are really skillful at what it is that you guys do. Nine of Cups. Perfection is literally coming towards you guys, Virgos. You guys have a lot of abundance, happiness, success for you guys here as well. You guys also have an Aries, a Virgo, a Gemini who's ready to come back in towards you, Virgo, this person is looking for a relationship. They're going to want to be with you. And somebody here may also be very curious if you're already married. Somebody may th think that you're actually already married, maybe because they think that you're married because you're always working and they want to spend time with you, but you don't have time to spend with them because you're always working and you're busy. But it's saying that this person going to just assume that you're married. <laughs> and it's going to bring a lot of destructive energy, Virgos, coming with the tarot card here. Also, Virgos, Please be careful that somebody doesn't end up in jail here with the page of swords of the tower card. It's saying here that the police may actually pick up somebody and take them to jail. So please be careful, all right? Um, also, Virgos, if you guys have a police officer that's coming into the picture, this person's going to be very manipulative here, too, with the magician to the nut page of swords. But it's saying everything should be okay eventually. Um, also, Virgos... This person here might try and come and spy on you and stalk you outside your house as well with the Tower card to the Page of Swords energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Page of Pentacles. Do expect a message coming in from this person. They're going to try and push through to come back towards you, but there's a lot of heartache here and a lot of division and separation. You guys may actually give up on this person because you guys are standing in your power now. So even though they may have a lot of love and a lot of feelings that they want to express to you guys, you guys are not facing them anymore. You're facing away from them, meaning you guys want nothing to do with this person because they did nothing for you except bring you a lot of burden, a lot of heartache, a lot of three-party deceptive, deceptive energy into your life. You want nothing to do with it. Keep it away from this Queen of Wands. She don't want nothing to do with it. And even if you do express to them, oh, I love you, I want to be with you, I want to make it work, and I'm sorry for what I've done to you, I'm sorry that I've caused so much heartache and pain for you, this Queen of Wands don't care anymore. She's standing in her power, she's glowing, she's happy, she's loving life, she's beautiful, she's confident, and she's everything. She's even more than whatever you thought that she was before. So if you thought she wasn't, she wasn't shit before, you better believe that she is much more worth than you will ever believe. You are not to hurt this Queen of Wands because this Queen of Wands is a very loving person. And all that you did to this Queen of Wands is bring them three of swords, heartache, division, separation, making them want to give up on you. You brought them burden. And this person here, this Queen of Wands, had to carry these burdens all on their own. 
while you're sitting there with your cup in your hand trying to tell this queen of wands, okay, I'm, you know, I love you, I'm sorry. This queen of wands don't want that shit anymore. This queen of wands wants peace. They don't want drama. And from what I'm seeing, you're nothing but drama. Thanks, cuties. Bye.